Number nine. Booba Banana Split. This is, without a doubt, the craziest Booba DVD I've ever made. Well, from a point of view back when I made it, the, uh, with, uh, with some fun episodes I have here, Banana Split, Squirty Flower, and Heavy Suitcase. With two of the three Warm dances on here being the same two out of three you would see in Booba Hot Dog. Scorns of uh Scrunch of Small Church are big and Tom Your Yeah. They are Scrunch of Small Church are big and Tom Up Your Tum and Bum. Instead of one and then jumping jacks, it's wide walks. And Squirting Flowers is the only episode with that warm dance. To not have Germany and China's the two country intro, it's Egypt and India. Here's the thing. Scorning Fire was my first episode with that warm dance on Chinese website. And it's my favorite with that warm dance. I like it better that way with Egypt and India instead of Germany and China. I then saw the Star Wars segment and <laughs> it has the funniest ending for a Star Wars segment in Booba history, in my opinion, where Grandpapa sits on the on the Enormously big squeezy bulb. The water from the flower comes down and or comes out and squirts all squirts all over him. <laughs> well done, Grandpapa. Well done. But he, but he does return in heavy suitcase, which is my favorite episode on here. Mostly because of the uh, because the that scene where Grandpa Bob takes the things out of the car and then and then the car magically transforms into a car that that he takes a drive on the Story World Road or something. I know that Banana Split is one of Sophie Ansel's favorite episodes, and yeah. I couldn't see it beating the other two for me, but it's her opinion, as is mine. Either way, oh yeah, and two of the three episodes on here have the dance have the dance together and apart and dance. Heavy suitcase is my favorite one with that and dance, by the way. The only other and dance that's not that is crazy collecting. The same thing with Booba Flowers. Two of the three episodes on there have lying down and standing up. One of the end dances on Booba Umbrella for Big Comb. Files Bone has it also. And Crazy Collecting is the, is the only other end dance on there, and it's the same here. Either way, this CD will make you go bananas. Number eight. Booba Parping Horn. This one is another silly made-up DVD of mine. Not too long ago, the uh, the Storewall segment in Chinese was uploaded, even though the full episode is still way to be uploaded in English, so that we'll know who wrote it and and all that. But we do have the we do have the Storewall segment and. The episode is on Australian DVD, ABC2, Just Much Fun, or the title of it. Um, the episodes on here are Parping Horn, Feathers, and Flag. And as I said in uh, on my old channel, there's a difference between this version and the UK version. UK version of Parping Horn has Germany and China as the two country intro, while this version... Has the USA and Ecuador intro because of squeaky socks. I wanted a match, and I don't think I'm ever gonna get that match with with jump side to side as the warm dance. However, on on Booba Wiki in the comments, someone said that USA and Ecuador is the ideal 
two country intro for my made up episodes that have jump size side as the two country intro. The same can be said for silly marching. Yeah, uh, yes, that warm dance, and the the montage song I have chosen for here for first thought is Fall Out Boy's Immortals. One of my top two favorite Fall Out Boy songs. Uh, uh light them up, aka my <clears throat> light them up, aka my songs know what you did in the dark, is on my made up about Grandma DVD. For Booba Banana Split, I decided on uh, on some on some song. Uh, Enjoy the world. Mm -mm. Uh, a song like that, uh, with love in the title. So, it, so if you if you want to enjoy this DVD, which you can, you you can uh, you can make very funny horn noises and honk at them so as to try to get your attention. And and some things I remember about the Parping Orange Star Wars segment include my favorite part where Grandpapa and Mr. Man get launched up into the sky <laughs> by the loud noise of the big Parping Horn. For Feathers, I did the I did Grandpapa blowing Feathers to the blow song uh, from season three of Dragon Tales, which I have on not one but two DVDs. One of them I'm going to show on the next episode is Dragon Tales: Our Amazing Pets, the swan song for that. And for Flag, it's one of Flag episodes I know of, where they try to keep up the standard of waving flags. Grandpa and Grandma Ma do a flag dance. Um, and Flag was the only episode I saw on a Chinese website that, that had the back and forth and dance switch. Back then, I wasn't too sure about it, because it's, because the camera stays in one still shot throughout the entire end dance. The music and the, the, the movement of the boobas made me go, eh? Then I saw Falling Oranges for the first time, and I thought it was alright of an end dance. Um, st yeah, still, Parping Horn is a fun made of Booba DVD of mine, and I'm sure w with the right parping or honking noise, you'll have fun with it. Number seven. Booba Shed. In the mid to late 2010s, I drew sheds or painted sheds with uh, with different types of artwork um i thought about this one and and decided that the theme for this one is to store people going inside places but, yeah it is to store people going inside places like like a wooden shed or a dog kennel or uh or a castle and also shining armor as a castle but you only see at the very end the episodes on here are shed little white cloud and bouncy castle which is the one that that made me go normally episodes that do have mrs lady but don't have mr man in it don't bother me this one is the one that does bother me because back when I saw it on a Chinese website, I was 100% convinced that Mr. Man would be in it. He would not be the lead, of course. It would be Miss it would be Mrs. Lady. But instead, brother and sister, which did provide a funny moment though when they try to blow through the air hole to see if they can inflate the bouncy castle and they and they fail, but but it managed to make me laugh. Um Grandpa and Grandmama showed up in it instead, which which was the one that made me go. I was I wanted like Bouncy Castle, and it didn't work. My favorite episode on here is Shed, and I think Sylvie Ansel would would say the same thing. Rick Rampasati, not so much. He would say Bouncy Castle's his favorite. 
Oh, and the and the high wall and the shed are the two episodes that have Mister Man and Brother and Sister in it. I it I'd rather watch those two over Bells any day. And there are two montage songs I've decided for this. Number one, Eric Hutchinson's Tell the World. The theme song for a short-lived show called Growing Up Fisher. And Megan Trainor's Better When I'm Dancing from the Peanuts movie. I thought that those two songs would, would feel right for this. We're going to tell the world that the Boobahs are doing these warm dances and and dances for Booba Shed, and it's better when they're dancing. So, the theme on this one is going in side places, like, like this wooden shed, the dog kennel in Little White Cloud, although th this is the dog kennel's return from Final's Flag, and this bouncy castle here. I was trying to think of a of an idea of for going inside places with either with either Zumba or Jumba being the world dancer here for the third time, I couldn't come up with anything, and Bouncy Castle beat all the others, so that's the way this made-up DVD came out as a result. Still, though, it is a fun made-up DVD of mine, and it, and I'm sure this DVD will make you feel like you're right at home.